We are here to win. Let's go. Uh, there you go, stay on the gas. Ah. We currently have the fastest lap. And if not, we're here to have a lot of fun. Ah. Look at those tires. Yeah, those hobbies. Awesome. Them yoki hobbies, baby. If not, I just hope our cars don't blow up on the first straightaway. Man, it's not supposed to be in a bunch of pieces. Uh, no one's really happy with the uh, the brake job on that car. Travis Pastrana here at Yokohama, Stunt and Explode and Soiree. It is the 24 hours of lemons at MSR Houston. It's gonna be really awesome because we have Team Taxi versus Team Whiskey Throttle. My name is Lance Fenton. I'm driving for Team Taxi with uh, Greg Barnhart and Kevin Madsen and Turbo Fenton. We all own it collectively. The reason we are number 199 is because uh, Mr. Pastrana has invited us here because he thinks he can whip our tail in his little El Camino, but uh, he is yet to feel the wrath of the taxi cab on the track breathing down his neck. Uh, this year we have a strategy to win, and that is bringing in Matthew Johnson, uh, who is a professional uh, car uh, coach, driver, um, extraordinaire, stripper Josh, and uh, Connor Daly, who is an IndyCar racer. Also, we have a secondary bet with Lance Fenton, and we're gonna try to kick the taxi cab number 199's butt because he stole our number. So we got it, Cooter 83, we're gonna run 199, but that cab with the taxi stole it, freaking Lance. So, uh, I don't know, who, who, who went with 83? Josh, why don't we go with 83? Well, I, I was born, so it makes sense. Plus, dude, I got 83 um, uh, GL wagons when I'm doing the, the thing in uh, for Jim Cotton this year. Well, to answer your question, Trav, the guy that's driving the, the stock car taxi cab like signed up first night, and I guess he got the number first. Lance, but why, so I, I know why he has 199. Why do we have 83? That's the year the El Camino, that's just what... Oh, it is the year the, the El Camino's in 83. Yeah, I'm born in 83, El Camino's born in 83. I'm born in 83. Subaru, uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. That's cool. <laughs> what? Well, since the last race of 2019, this thing sat in a cargo container for about three and a half years. So they say these cars are supposed to be a $500 car, and at any point somebody can buy your car for $500. I hate this car so much, I would pay somebody $500 to take it. This is Lemons Royalty. It has changed hands over the years, but Checker has remained. Uh, it also has won the top prize in Lemons, which is the index of affluency. But now, since it has gone off to a new home, presumably a, a race team full of idiots, and I can't wait to see it on track. B, 15 laps negative, good start. During the rebuild process, I actually had help for the first time. Stripper Josh came out and helped me, and uh, it might be the last time he ever helps me on a car. He got injured almost every day, he got set on fire one day. For all the hard work, we're not even close to winning. Under the hood, just a bone stock 350 that came with the car. We've never tore into the motor. Stock, safer car. Wait, wait, sorry. It, it, it's what? Stock, stock, stock. Yeah. Safe, safer. Forty mile an hour Look thing. Look at that start. taxi ripping. So this man right here, he stole the 199. Well, actually, we were gonna run as a team, but then there was so much crap talking between Piranha and Lance Fenton that we decided that we're gonna run today $1 for whichever one of our teams at the end of the day is running better. Uh, this car won't be running tomorrow. You don't think this car's gonna run tomorrow? I don't, what do you think, Connor? Is this car gonna be running tomorrow? I think it's been put together soundly. I think it's a <laughs> wonderful looking machine and I see no reason why I won't be running at the front as well. Yeah. Go. 
Man, this is madness. Oh yeah, it's chaos. Our car really is a lemon. I mean, it is a legitimate pile of, of crap, a pile of lemons, if you, if you will. Um, so a lot of people will be making fun of us, how they passed, you know, myself or Connor Daly or Matt Johnson. Um, and they think our car is awesome because, well, it, it rips down the straightaways pretty good once it gets in a straight line. But it doesn't turn, it doesn't break, and it doesn't stop. Team Taxi. So first off, as a hot rodder, that thing, that car, 100%. Like, seriously, it's full-on NASCAR if they put a body on a track car, everybody's talking trash. I think they knocked it out of the park. That thing is wicked. But they've, they've had some issues that wasn't really, really their fault. I don't have a stick. Oh, oh my God. Gear shifter broke in half. I was driving and I went into the diamond back there to shift from fourth to shift down to second. And I reached. There's, your There's nothing there. there. It's right there. It's right here. See? Why didn't you put it back on? I don't know how to put it back on. <laughs> Turbo, my son. Uh, he, he cannot legally drive yet without my supervision, so I thought if I'm watching on the tower, that counts as supervision. So his son's out there racing, and I'm not sure if it's his legal name, but his name's Turbo. That's gotta be the coolest goddamn name I've ever heard. Started out good, the car's great, except for the shift and all the gearbox and everything was rattling, so we had to bring it in and fix it. So hopefully we fixed it, and my dad's gonna go out and pick up where we left off. Team Taxi, I tell you, that taxi is not a taxi. It is a NASCAR. It is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and it is going to be very, very difficult to beat. They are convinced they're not going to break, and if they don't break, we're going to be in big trouble. Having said that, I still know for a fact that we're going to beat them. So here at the 24 Hours of Lemons, we don't actually drive for 24 hours. We drive for like eight hours one day and eight hours the next day. Man, it was so fun to watch. Nicely done. I was feeling strong vibration. I was feeling loss of brake. I was feeling like some of these people, there's no way they have driver's license. I want the half inch, regular half inch. Hey, we got another problem. Okay. And there's no fluid in the rear axle. Rear gear set gasket is junk on top of whatever else we gotta find on the. Does it start, Tony? Like what? Does it start? No. We rebuilt the rear end, changed the axle, put new tires on it, changed the transmission, adjusted the timing, put power valves in the carburetor. It'll be good. a good day of racing unfortunately the little checkered cab needs some work tonight i think we're looking pretty good we might not win the overall here but i think we're guaranteed to beat that stupid taxi cab on the first day that dollar bet man i was really hoping we had the car dialed they did a shakedown ahead of time it looked like we were in good shape and i hoped that we would win i know we were quick that team whiskey throttle they got it they got the win that day but We'll see what happens at the next event. So the dollar from today, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You guys got a black flag before the green flag even went out. Yeah, thanks, Turbo. Yeah, started like 15 laps down and then proceeded to go a lot more than that down. Um, you were broken a lot, but you were fast when you were out there. So what I would like to do a dollar bet on is if in the first five laps that I'm out there that I can beat your best time from today. Deal. Deal. I'll take your money. <laughs> I already took yours. <laughs> go. I get it back. I am by far the slowest person on the track. I got passed by a tow truck yesterday that had a car on it. But I'm hoping to pick those times up a little bit today and uh, support the team.
back to you in the studio. As you can see, we're still uh, making some adjustments to the cab to ensure we are still the fastest thing out there on track. We currently have the fastest lap, um, much faster than the El Camino. We found out that any mechanical issue that we've had with this is related to us putting the number 199 on it. But today, uh, since this is the fastest car here, uh, Travis has asked to drive it just so he can feel what a real car feels like. Wide array of, of human beings out there, a wide array of vehicles, a wide array of smells while you're on track because there are multiple things that are burning up on, on different cars. Uh, and I also started smelling myself. I am stinking a lot, um, which means that we're out there working hard. So that's good. tow trucks out there's a yellow flag apparently part of the track was still open so there was still some racing and i guess somebody made contact with Trav or vice versa so now there's more flags they didn't even have two yellow flags in the rookie video it's a riot yeah. but it's so busy oh yeah but uh dude, the whole crowd was cheering yeah what an inside attack you got i was like i am myself here but if i don't go for it travis is gonna tell me to go home <laughs> gotta be the <laughs> us drove faster than we should have been, burned too much gas, and went too fast. But it's kind of hard to go out there and not go fast. Yep, the brakes don't work. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Yes. But they, I don't think I necessarily made them worse. I, I think, think you did. You think I did? Yes. OK. You went by my friend over here. And then my friend proceeded to get a black flag. But it was the only time that Trevor Piranha has ever said, good on you. If you didn't get a black flag, you'd have been fired. Yeah, you're waving the middle finger at me. I was like, he wants me to come by him, clearly. He was pointing me around. That's what it was. Wicked vibration came back. We think we had a bad transmission mount. So we went back to our garage fix from yesterday. Went back to a solid mount. A little risky. We could break the bell housing. But it's what we got to do to get back on the track today. So, rock on. We're just waiting on our driver in his monkey suit. Woo! This seatbelt is snug. He's already had a few people flipping him off. <laughs> Was that my fault or no? That guy. He hit me on the right side, and then he came back around and hit me on the left side. I'm like, that's the same car. He hit me on both sides. Josh accidentally took a few people out, got a couple black flags, but I, he actually he didn't do bad either. We've got what it takes to win one of these things. We just gotta get a bigger gas tank. Pastrana just got in the taxi. Uh, he's gonna try and beat the last lap of the day, which we just set for the weekend at a 152.9. So Travis has some work to do, and he's gotta get used to a really weird car really fast. Trav and Connor Daly in the same spot, and Connor just went rolling by in the El Camino, so. I don't know what's up with Taxi, but Travis's first lap, a 155. The quickest he's gone in our car also, so he might have a chance. Well, Travis and I got to mess around, I guess. His car smells like it's literally exploding. Like anytime he was in front of me, it was shooting out black smoke. It smelled like oil and like actual metal parts, like melting metal. So I could tell that he just was running that thing until, <laughs> until it was gonna explode. Hey, best dollar ever spent. I didn't get the time, but uh, that was a blast. It was cool. We found Connor out there. Just give me the finger everywhere. It was great. He was like, I thought I was you. It was even better. We were respectful and totally safe, but I think we made a couple people poop themselves out there. Yeah. We were passing them on both sides. Yeah, we split like three different people 
And they were just trying to get home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're just, just trying to get to the grocery store and get home. We went out, we ran fast lap of the event for B class 152.9. Travis got in the car, he got to run it for a while and have a good time. Yeah, so fun. it was all worthwhile, all the hard work. Got to thank my guys, they were amazing. Yokohama was amazing. I, I, I look forward to doing it again. Have a great time anyway, and we did no trophies, but you know what? Some of us got spirit trophies, which feels nice. It's, it's I don't know what those are. Thank you all very much. I've enjoyed this race. You happen to stop hitting each other long enough to have a race. We'll see you all in NOLA next March. Thank you very much. I was, I was telling them uh, that you have developed a, an itch that you're going to be scratching for quite a while here, but they can just put oh, that yeah. along with your other itches Talking you're scratching all the time. Chili's last night. <laughs> yeah. You look clean. <laughs> no, you're talking about racing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to do this again. <laughs>